the pro-gun people. I disagree, but I don't want to talk about it. You know, I understand their argument. I disagree. That's it. You know, like, I think having a lot of people having guns is more dangerous. People get mad. If I had, if I had a gun in my pocket all the time, I probably would have killed five people by now. If I had a gun in my pocket all the time, I'd be in jail by now, at least. You know, a lot of people have anger problems and shit. There shouldn't be just guns going around like this, like ashtrays and books. What do you care about instead of dangerous? I don't know. I mean, it seems countries with less. It seems I don't have the stats right here, but I think in countries with less guns laying around, there's less people getting their heads blown off. I don't. That doesn't appeal to me. You know, but like I get the argument we need to have. You know, it's a, it's part of our because it's uh, you know the Constitution, Bill of Rights, all that stuff is just paper. It's just parchment. But I understand its cultural importance to us. But it has a lot of cultural importance to us, right? Just like the Bible. The Bible is just words, but it has cultural importance to us, right? So people feel very strongly they should have these weapons to protect themselves. I get they feel that way. I think it's. I think in the end game we we, we would lose. That happens, but I get, I respect that viewpoint. It makes sense. You want to have guns in your house, you know. I play World of Warcraft. I don't go out in the field with no swords. You know? I get it. I just kind of disagree. It, uh, the Constitution is just a piece of paper. Uh, I, I do not agree with that statement uh, about the Constitution. Especially the Bill of Rights. Come on, First Amendment, freedom of speech, assembly, freedom of the press, uh, freedom for redress of grievances against your government. The Second Amendment is to protect the first. Your right to speak is the most important thing in the world. Then you have a right to defend yourself. That's the Second Amendment. And the Third Amendment is that you're not going to have soldiers living in your home tomorrow um, because it's declared by Homeland Security or the British, whatever. Then you have the Fourth. Um, What's that? That's, that's your um, anonymity. You don't have to provide your papers. You don't have to identify yourself. You have a right to be secure in your persons, your possessions. You know, you have a fifth. Due process, fair trial, jury of your peers. Sixth, seventh, eighth are all more or less on the same lines of, of criminal process that we have a right to be tried by our own people. It's not going to be some government appointed panel deciding if we're guilty or innocent. We might accept plea deals themselves in the first place, but if we go to a jury of our peers, we actually have a chance because it's regular people. People need care when they go to jury duty. It's an honor to do it. But then you have the Ninth and Tenth Amendments, states' rights, people's rights. These amendments are extremely important, especially in such a, a, a big nation. You can't have one central way of doing everything. States' rights are absolutely important. You know, the republic model. You need to have states, but we need to work together. The federal government's for defense and for that one contract of paper. For the Constitution, the Bill of Rights. Don't my Bill of Rights. Yeah, like I said, I get it. I mean, he's, he's, he's right. You know, I respect that viewpoint. You know, in, in a way, I'm apolitical about it because I'm coming at it from the viewpoint of, hey, you know, if people are breaking into people's homes with guns, maybe the way to solve this isn't to like, well, we need stronger doors and thicker bars and bigger guns to fight them off. Maybe we should start asking ourselves, who are these people? What's their deal, you know? Can we help them? Where, where are their families? You know, should we be their family for a while? You know, <laughs> it's a complex issue. I think right? that's the better answer. Maybe both. You need both. Yeah. But, I mean, you have to defend yourself. People are not going to break into your house as likely if they have to think that I could get shot in the process. Oh, yeah. What happens to violent people in society like that? They get weeded out. You know, it's just a hard nature of it. You get killers getting themselves shot because they shot two people and they didn't get to ten by the time someone shot him dead. I'm not going to cry he's not coming out of jail five, ten years later. I'm not going to cry about that. People will learn law and order because people will learn to respect each other. We are a threat to each other. We need to work together. Is about the Constitution? What? what? What's about the Constitution? Is uh, it a piece of paper or is it some shit? It's a piece of paper that we need to create a new one with. What about the Bill of Rights? What Bill of Rights? Oh, man. <laughs> show, me one, show me one of those rights that we have that's actually still around. About, yeah, well, that's why we're fighting. Because of that piece of paper. Who, who's fighting? The 0.01% of this country? You're fighting. I know you are. Yeah, there's nothing else to do in this country. But why are you the opinionated occupier? Always opinionated. I What's going on? What's up? What's going on right now? What can people do to get involved? Anything? It's not thinking. <laughs> You're on the spot, Murphy. Uh, people just need to think. Need to think. Hey, the way people can get involved right now, the best way you can do it um, is is connect the people that you see on a daily basis, so like you know, a weekly basis, the people you hang around with socially. Find out a cause that 
you're all really enthusiastic about or some useful activity that you're all really enthusiastic about. That sounds extremely boring. And like, Dude, we no, it's football it, on Sundays. Yeah. yeah. Tomorrow. Yeah. Yeah. Football right. movement. But you know, I would, I would recommend football. it be something more relevant than riffle ball. Drinking beers in the bar. Yeah, you know. The power is up to us, it's not up to anyone else. If you're not doing anything, it's your problem. You should be doing things. I, I talk to state senators, state reps, senators, governors. Um, I change laws. We changed the ma marijuana law in Massachusetts, decrimmed it. We're doing medical. 2016 will have legal. I'm interested not in the Fed. I'm interested in so many issues. Get involved. And those Bill of Rights. That's a piece of paper. We should defend that with our lives like other people defended it for their lives. And, and it's the highest form of government that anyone has ever had. I would love to see a better form, but I don't think there is. The problem is, is we gave up on that. We let, the, we let this whole thing called democracy, mob rule, and other things, corporate influence take over. We need to take back our rights. Those rights still exist. There are lawyers. There are people that do actively make sure that they do work. Harvey Silverglate right now is working on a lot of things. So get active, this is the time.